Okay. Welcome to Monday Night Raw review for November 7, 2016. 11.50 p.m. I'm recording this. And, well, you know, Monday Night Raw was taped again this year. I really hate it when they're taped. I don't care about the time zones. All right? I don't give a fuck. Shit. All right. So tonight's show, you know, I realize a couple of things. I realize some things, you know, that are important and a lot of shit that's not. All right. Now, I tweeted out saying I will explain everything what I mean in my raw review to the best way I can. Okay. So, let's get into this shit. Now, Monday Night Raw... Like I said, you know, you know the little kid in in the in the class that's fucking saying, "Oh, I'm gonna get the the assignment done before the due date." You know, I'm a I'm a prepare myself and you know try to get this done very early, even though the kid doesn't do shit until the final week, and then he tries to get the job done, but he fails in the end, right? Okay, this week it feel like Raw was the kid that. Still, so that, that tried to make us believe that they're trying. Tonight, feel like they tried to make us believe that they're, that they're trying, but in reality, they are not. They don't give a fuck. The kid, a.k.a. Monday Night Raw, is, the, is sitting there trying to convince us, hey, I'm, you know, I'm working on it. I'm almost done. Oh, my God. Yo, yo, I, I put this, this whole thing together. You're going to see it. Within next week, you know, that's when that's when the the project is due, you know, next week. But then you're like, okay, show me the car facts. Show me the proof of you actually working hard on this to make me believe and care that you actually put effort into this. That's what I feel with Monday Night Raw. Okay, so tonight's show, we started off with Stephanie... Coming out after the whole Survivor Series men team are in the ring talking about following the leadership of Kevin Owens and Y2J. You know, a big disagreement that a bra happens. Stephanie comes through. She's like, look, at Survivor Series, you will be a damn team. But tonight, you're going to let it all out. You're going to go. You're going to go and fuck each other up tonight. All right. In a fatal five way. And I got a big question. This is me talking. I got a big question. I got a big question, man. I got a big question. Why? Why? Simply why? Is it because just just to let it all out? You could have put them in individual matches. You could have put them in singles matches. No. A fatal five way. Which is worse than a fatal four way. Why? Why did we have to see a fatal five way as the main event of the entire show? Who or what did it benefit anyone at this point? It didn't do shit. Okay? The main event didn't do anything for anyone or anything, period. Okay? Like, seriously. Why? Like, ser- like I-, I don't understand it. You could have done Rollins versus... I don't know. <sighs> what? Rollins versus... No. I was going to say Reigns versus Strowman, but nah. Maybe... Oh, like a tag team or a handicap or... No, not fuck tag team. We did a lot of tag teams tonight. Holy shit. But you know what I mean? Like, they could have done something unique. But nope, 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 no. They gotta do. They gotta do it the 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 easy way. Let's just put them all in the ring and let all chaos just you know go crazy. You know. Oh jeez. Okay. Um. What else can I remember from the top of my head? I'm not looking at the fucking, you know, the raw review on you know Russell Zone or Bleacher Report or whatever. I'm just thinking off the top of my head because I watched the entire show and I remember a lot of things because it kind of pissed me off a lot. So let me just. Get some things out of the way. I remember, um, you know, when Dolph Ziggler made the challenge for the IC title, right? 
and he challenged any Raw superstar to come through and accept the challenge. Now I'm thinking, hmm, this could be a perfect opportunity for a man like Cesaro, a Sheamus, maybe, maybe, hmm, the guy that beat Kevin Owens back at Battleground before the brand extension started. Hmm, hmm, maybe it should be Sammy fucking Zayn. Sami Zayn comes through, and apparently, Stephanie McMahon was upset that Sami Zayn went to McFoley, practically begged him to give, uh, to to give Sami Zayn that spot to fight Ziggler for the IC title. Now I'm thinking, yes, that is wonderful, marvelous, wonderful, you know. But Stephanie. Saying how Sami Zayn irritates her and her rah rah and the entrance and the da da. Oh, really, Stephanie? Okay. So you're irritated that the fans cheer for someone that they actually care. But, you know, Roman Reigns. Just saying. Anyways. Um. So, what does this. I tr I want to I want to keep myself calm this time, you know. I don't want to I don't want to uh, just let it go. And I'm not talking about the song or the movie, okay? I just don't want to be explosive like last time. Pause, okay? So, what does she do? The most logical thing WWE could ever do. Hey, you're going to fight Rusev. You know that Big Bulgarian loser that lost to Roman Reigns for two and a half damn months. You know? Yeah, you're going to fight him with this wife in the corner where the winner will face Dolph Ziggler at Survivor Series. <laughs> Fucking kill me now. So we're going to we're gonna get to that later on, if I can remember. Oh, I will remember. I, I just remember something in my head. So, I, I, so when we get there. So, we, we, we lead to the ring because we had a tag team segment. Okay. But, let me get this out of the way. The Cruiserweights had their tag team match. Um, I don't want to say I don't care. But, I don't care. There was nothing on the line. And, someone had a debut. Uh, what was it? What's his name? Uh... It wasn't Drew Gulak. No, couldn't be. It was someone that was from Scotland. That's all I can say. Right? He got a massive pop. I just don't know, know his name. I'm pretty sure some one of you going to leave a comment below. And they're going to be like, oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah, there we go. But, um, yeah. Uh, he had his debut. And that's all I can remember. So, I don't know who won that one. Okay. So, we looked at the tag team segment. Which, Jesus Christ. Look. I'm not going to lie. It was entertaining. It was funny. But it went too long. <laughs> it went too long. <sighs> I don't know why. <sighs> why it took so long. I wanted to fucking hang myself. <sighs> oh, God almighty. Okay, so... Look, let's just get that out of the way. They're on the ring. They're talking about joining. Uh, oh, sorry, not joining. Saying how the New Day's not the boss of them. You know, you know, Gallows and Anderson speaking that. And New Day just roasting them. And New Day saying they're just all, all about having fun. And, you know, because Raw Team uh, Rocks or something, right? I was going to say Raw Team Sucks because that's a fact. But, you know, Raw Team Rocks. Raw. Yeah, okay. I had to fucking burp because I, I had to stop myself because that was bullshit. Anyways, so what what the, what happened? We we lead into a tag team match, impromptu tag team match. I'm not gonna make the Taylor Long joke. Fuck that. And Anderson and Gallows beat the tag champs. I'm like, oh, oh shit, that's actually shocking. And I immediately thought, okay, I see, it. I see the future now. I see it, you know. I'm like Raven from That So Raven. I don't know what the fuck she's doing today, but That So Raven from back in the day, yo. You know, when she has those those visions, you know, that right? And she had the vision to ride. Yeah, that's how I felt because I'm like, oh, shit. Roadblock. 
Roadblock in December for the tag team titles. Anderson and Gallows versus the New Day. If not, then they're going to add Sheamus and Cesaro also, make it a triple threat because same because Sheamus and Cesaro did defeat New Day at Hell in the Cell and via disqualification. So, I see a triple threat to a fatal four-way, but a normal tag team match. One of those three will, will happen at Roadblock with those three guys. Mark my freaking words. All right. Uh, so after that, what else did we? What else happened on the show? I can't really remember. Fuck. Uh, fuck it. Let me just get straight to the point. Look, uh, the, the women came out and they had their segment. You know, you know when the fans take, when the fans, you know, when they take a part of the show, when they, you know, chant what they want to chant and they're being real and they're just having fun. You know, I get that. When the fans are just, you know, just like, they're not going to take the crap that WWE's giving to them on Monday Night Raw tonight. They're going to try to make things fun for themselves, right? During this long, boring, kill me now, gouge my eyes, Benoit hang me now segment, right? Freaking the fans just legit went AWOL and were like, you know what? Fuck it. We're just going to... Do things our way. So what we're going to do is, we are going to just chant the same old chant. <sighs> How did it go again? Oh, I know. Bailey. Ooh, ha. I want to know. Would you be my girl? But like it just went on and on and on and on, on and on and on and on, on and on and on and on, on and on and on, and I say, shut the fuck up! Like seriously, I can't take it. Seriously, just stop. Get to the show. I don't give a fuck. Just get to the show. I'm tired of the same, same, same. Same old fucking chant again and again and again and again and again and again and again. Okay? I can't handle it. Mm -mm. No. And Byron Saxton, you know how I feel about Byron Saxton. Do I need to go into details? All I'm going to say is get. Off the commentary table. Now, I have I I said this before. When he was in NXT with Corey Graves, he was decent to good. But he's with Michael Cole, which devalues him even more. Which meaning. Cole plus Saxton equals fucking Isis. Cole plus Saxton equals Ebola. Cole plus Saxton equals Benoit's fucking death. Seriously. The commentary table. The commentary both. The team. Good God, this was boring. As shit. Did I forgot to mention that Golden Truth fought the Shining Stars, where the winner would be on the fucking team, even though the Golden Truth, the Golden Truth was on the team, but then our Truth uh, fucking sold his stop his spot in the team just so he could get fucking tickets to go to a, a bootleg ass resort in Puerto Rico. Really now. And guess who won? The shining stars of the crappy Caribbean. Yeah. Yeah, I said it. So, where was the logic in that? I don't know. Do I? Should I even care? I shouldn't. But then again, you know, you have someone with with a, with a veteran in our truth. Our, uh, you know, freaking K-Quick all the way up to... Our truth, right? 
And we have gold dust. <sighs> the legend in gold dust. <gasps> but you know, you have that. But you gave it away to the pirates of the Caribbean. The shining stars of the Caribbean. Whatever the fuck they are, Caribbean. Alright? Ah, my God. But, and then, uh, the club, you know, when they defeated the New Day, I'm pretty sure I said this earlier, I just can't remember now. Holy shit, it was, uh, it was a big moment there. I was like, oh shit, like I said, I see them competing for the tag titles next month. But Paley, after that dreadful women's segment, you know, oh, by the way, Sasha Banks, nice to see you back, honey. Even though it took one week, one week for you to sell your hell in the cell injury. <laughs> that makes sense, you know. One week, all you need is one week, you know. It's just like it's like a remake of that one sock. All you need is one wish, you know. You know, if I had one wish, right? I'll, I'll, if I had one week, I'll fucking be repaired and fucking go to war on Monday Night Raw. One week. Wow. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. The selling of injuries are officially dead. Simple as that. Now... Uh, as I was getting to this, uh, yeah, the the women had their match. Even though I would have done, you know, I don't know, Nia Jax versus Sasha Banks, uh, Nia, uh, Dana Brooke versus Alicia Fox, and Beta versus Charlotte. But no, gotta go with the easy ride tag team player. <laughs> Fuck, I did that joke. Damn it. All right. Um, and uh, Bailey pinned the champ, so the New Day got pinned, and Charlotte got pinned. Wow. So, what do I see in the future? Okay, either I see Bailey versus Sasha on Raw, where the winner faces Charlotte at Roadblock for the women's title, which would lead Bailey to win that match, and then Bailey goes to face Charlotte at Roadblock. I hope to God that Bailey does not win. She gets her big WrestleMania win at WrestleMania. Okay? Beta versus heel Sasha, not face Sasha's heel. You know, heel doggy, heel. You know the heel, the back of your foot, heel Sasha. Okay? All right. I may be a little bit crazy because when they're not raw, you know, the first problem is always this. It was taped. I hate taped shows. The reason why I barely watch TNA, okay? I used to, but I barely watch it. I, I had the opportunity last week. I just didn't give a fuck. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to watch TNA this week. I'll just watch the clips on YouTube because I'm not in the mood to watch two hours of bleh, okay? Of weekly taped shit. Uh, no. <sighs> So we need to the main event, and you know Rollins, Reigns, Owens, Strowman, Jericho with the list had the Fatal Five Way match, and uh, hold on, just remember it's my bad. Before we get to that, Rusev versus Sami Zayn, winner faces Ziggler at Survivor. Series for the Intercontinental Championship. So we come back from commercial break, and Lana's in the ring. I don't care about her looks anymore. I know she's gonna be hot every week I see her. So, what does Lana do to piss Jim off this week? So apparently, Lana has told us a super massive secret from the United States. 
do you know? Do you want you did did you hear the secret? Do you want to know the secret? The secret was that the United States have fifty one states in their country. I am not bullshitting you. Apparently, from Lana, Glasgow, Scotland is a part of America now. So I want to know who did this: Obama, Trump, Clinton. Sanders, who did this? Who did this? Who went to Scotland and said, you will be our 51 state? All right, even though you are across the fucking planet, you will be a part of the United States. 51 states this time, motherfuckers. Right? Does that sound proper? Does that sound right? Is that logical? No, it's not. 50 states the U.S. has, okay? 50 states, not 51. So why did Lana said America stand even though she acknowledged that she is in Glasgow, Scotland? Hmm? 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 Hmm. I didn't think so. You can't tell me. Oh, it was about uh, an honest mistake. Oh, if it was a mistake. Why didn't they not edit it out? Unless they fucking record. And then immediately just show it to the world. Like, like I don't know. Like, minutes later after they're done with the show. They're like, alright, put it on the air. Put it on the air. Come on, come on. You know, 8 o'clock, come on. 8 o'clock Eastern and whatever time in, 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 in the West Coast and the Pacific time and all that shit. Come on. Where am I really? No. No. They had time. They could have edited it out. Nope. They still left it in there. She said, America rise even though you're in Glasgow, Scotland, for God's sakes. I. Lana. I swear. I, I, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a start saying this, you know, because it's true, you know. Looks over brains is the situation now, okay? So that means she may look good, but up here in the brain zone, she ain't, it ain't functioning. No, it's not. So, okay. So Zayn beats Rusev and bam, he faces Ziggler at Survivor Series. So now we get to the main event, and I was I fell asleep twice. The one part that got me hyped was when you know they had that Shield moment. Reigns and, and Rollins were about to go for that power bomb, Shield like, um, Braun Strowman, but why two Jericho? Oh, sorry, why two? For God's sakes, why two? Uh, why two KO came through and interrupted the whole thing, and I fell asleep for the second time. When I woke up, I just see Kevin Owens lying down on Jericho. One, two, three. And why? why uh, sorry, KO got the win over Y2J. And Y2J is just like, yeah, we won. Yay. Like, he didn't know that he got pinned by his best friend. I don't know. So, we're going to have to wait and see for next week's live Monday Night Raw. Not taped. This isn't fucking 1998 where you got to fucking tape your shows, okay? And they try to bullshit me saying, oh, we're alive, even though you're fucking taped. So, what did you think of tonight's show? Leave your comments down below. I don't know what you're thinking. So, just leave your comments, all right? If I sound crazy, if I sound tired, if I just sound pissed off altogether, we could just say, blame Monday Night Raw. Hashtag blame Monday Night Raw. So, leave your comments like I said. Check out past videos and nothing much to it. Monday Night Raw. You know, it's just like, like I said earlier, the kid that wants to claim, wants to prove to us that he's actually trying, but in reality, He's not. They don't give a fuck. 
okay? The other guy in class, SmackDown, is trying and actually putting effort. But yet, Raw, no. No. So, thank you guys for watching. The Twitter link is in the description. So you can follow me, follow me on Twitter there. And like, like this video and subscribe. And I am out. Uh, later.